In the end, it was her own past which ensured Fiona Wolf would not be able to chair this major inquiry into historic child abuse. Her links with Leon Britton had caused real concern. He was Home Secretary in the 1980s and is accused of failing to treat seriously a dossier of alleged abuse. Almost certainly, he'll be questioned by the inquiry. The main problem for Fiona Wolf is she's seen as too much part of the establishment. She's revealed she had dinner five times with Lord Britton and his wife and that they live in the same street. And the letter she sent to the Home Secretary, Theresa May, clarifying her links with Lord Britton, was in fact rewritten by Home Office civil servants seven times. Some say it looks like an attempt to play down the connection. When victims' representatives emerged from a meeting with members of her inquiry today, it was clear they had no confidence in Fiona Wolf. I think if she were to carry on, she would have, well, certainly there would be no confidence in the inquiry at all. And I think, and I know, in fact, that very few, if any, survivors of abuse would engage with it. They've already been telling us that this for many, many weeks. This is a major embarrassment for Theresa May. Her first choice as chair of the inquiry has already stepped down. To lose a second like this looks worse than careless.